Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a little bit different. Over the last few weeks, I have become kind of obsessed with organizing things. I've organized my room to a T and the only other place I could think to probably organize was my car. Now I have done a car tour in the past about this car, so I'm gonna link that down below because this video is not a car tour. I'm not gonna be talking through everything that I mentioned obviously in my car tour. I literally went through every single part of the car that is not what this video is this video is how i organize my fiat i have seen many videos on youtube to do with car organization hacks and different things that you can buy for your car to help organize it but they've all been for big cars i have not seen one yet for a fiat 500 so i thought that i would put my little car out there so enough with the chit chat and i'm gonna show you how i organize my car so this is my Fiat 500, like I mentioned. It's obviously white, well it's white at the top and then down towards the bottom, it's kind of like a muddy brown. So I'll start off with the passenger side. So on the passenger side of the door, I keep down here in this little clear plastic wallet. I just keep like a little stationary kit. It has a spare phone charger in there, which I got from Primark, but I just have a little notebook, um, notepad and a couple pens. You never know when you're going to need to write something down need a piece of paper so in case you ever have an accident in the car which i get a bit funny about luckily i've never had one but i just get a bit panicky in case i don't have somewhere to jot down someone's information so it's always a good thing to have that in your car so that just lives in my little side door there now my car doesn't actually have like a proper like cubby hole here and um, it's just all open which i actually really like so i have two of my own makeup bags in here so the first one i've got is just one of my own mini makeup bags and um, you can see it says gracie s on the side so inside here i just have little bits like a little mini bottle of perfume a little mini lip balm hair bubbles i got these hair bubbles which i really like I've got some more little Avon samples of perfume. I've got some shine control tissues there from Superdrug, cotton pads, cotton buds, scissors, little mini ones, hair clip. I just basically have everything I could possibly need in this little bag. And then the other bag that I have in here, again, is another one of my makeup bags. And in this one, I just have like bulkier things. So I have a bigger, perfume this is what are you called a more and more which i got for christmas which smells lovely i've also got some simple wipes makeup remover wipes i don't really like to use them unless i have to but if you're on like a long journey somewhere and i'm the sort of person i don't know if anyone else is like me if you're a girl who's into makeup um when i get home and it's late i don't want to then take off my makeup because it then wakes me up so i like to do it if i'm coming home a long journey as I'm in the car on the way home or obviously just before I leave. Then I also have a little tangle teaser here. Got like a little leopard print on, I really like it. It's just like the perfect travel, perfect travel hairbrush. So that's everything that is in my second makeup bag. Links below. Then in the Fiat 500, there is actually some secret storage, which I didn't know about until I did my car tour. So under here, there is a little like clasp. Where are you here? You have to pinch and pull and in here i just store some cds i don't really tend to listen to cds i either plug my phone in or i have um the radio on but i've got um now that's what i call music 96 and i've got my boyfriend's r b collection in there so that's what lives in there having to lean in my car to show you the other secret storage which i should have showed you just before that but this secret storage is in the passenger side um underneath the passenger seat so i can remember how to do it you just pull back oh yeah and lift up as you can see i don't currently store anything in there but it's a really good size if you wanted to you could put like i don't know tissues or something in there it's quite good size then in the middle section here of my car up here i just have this fragrance which i really really like i love the front of it i just got it from a supermarket i think it's a febreze one and it has like a refillable thing you can pop in the bottom and up here you can change like how quickly you want the scent to come out oh that smells really nice i really like that then i have my trusted phone holder here this has been with me through many phones um it fits i want to say all phones i've had an iphone 
5 in this, an iPhone 6 in this, and this is a 7 Plus. So it fits different sizes of phones, and I got that on Amazon. It's really, really cheap. I literally just put my keys in here. Obviously, I don't live there forever. I find that this section here gets really grubby and grimy, um, but that's just, I think, having a car. Um, and then in here, which, I again, took me a long time to realise if you have a, this in your car, um, Fiat have their own sort of thing called Blue and Me, which is a little bit like Siri. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, and you can have your aux cable in there. But if you slide this to the side, you can plug in a USB. And then I would just plug my phone in um, and play my music through my car. Then in between the front seats, I have these two little organisation bits. They're really, really good. I really like them. So they just slot in to your car they're meant to be like universal they give you the sizes online and stuff um but they're a little bit squished in here but they're just basically meant to catch things or if you have a friend around there and control of the music they can just pop their phone in there if they're just really really useful to have um i also keep things like chewing gum if i can get it out oh i can't get it but it's chewing gum you're not missing out in the back of my car i don't have any organization at all i mean you could do you could have some on the back of the seats if you really wanted to but no one ever sits in the back of my car if we ever go on longer journeys with more people then we take a different car and then the last place is on to the boot it doesn't look much but it is an absolute lifesaver so i bought this on amazon and I also bought those on Amazon, I'm not sure if I mentioned, and they were 9 99 for two, so they're really affordable. This is like a boot organiser. Again, I bought this on Amazon, I think this was £4. It's not extremely, extremely sturdy, but when there's things in there, then it is. I always like to keep this one empty. I either tend to put like my handbag in there or like a coat in there, or even if I've gone to the shop quickly and just bought like a couple of bits, I put them in there to save them rolling around the boot, which is perfect. So I keep that empty then in this little pocket here i just keep a bottle of deodorant always handy um in here this is normally full so i normally have um things to post or bits to do with my car i've also got some anodin extra in there because you never know always got to keep it on you then there's another little pocket on this side and i've just got some um suntan in there obviously from when it was the warmer weather and then in this far end pocket I just tend to keep things for my car so i've got some wipes there i've got like my car manual and i've also got some carrier bags now you have to pay for bags i always like to keep these in my boots and i remember more that i've got them in here if i rush out of the house and quickly put these in my boot just like all over here i just don't remember that i have them but now i know that i've got this in my car i remember that i've got these in there too i don't know if that's weird but that's just me i wasn't sure how big this was actually going to be in the boot but i think it's a really good size it's not all the way over there we go so it feels about half of my boot and there's still enough room next to it but that is it that is how i organize my very small fiat 500 if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button before you leave because i would love to have you here i definitely want to do more videos like this where i talk about organizing stuff and particularly maybe things to do with my car like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i've done a full-on car tour explaining everything to do with my car you know the technical side of my car um, and different bits like that how it drives and stuff so if you want to watch that video i will link it down below It'll be the top line of the description so go and check that video out over there i'd love to know if you have a fiat 500 as well perhaps you have the same color as i have or perhaps you just have a smaller car and you wanted to find a video like this to see how to organize it or if you have any organization tips of your own then please leave them down below in the comment section not only for me but for someone else it might help them out as well i hope you're all having a lovely day and i will see you next week for another video